Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna be showing you how to install TWRP recovery and also root the Lenovo K3 Note. So let's get started. So first we have to connect your phone to the computer using the USB cable included with the phone. And then first thing you have to do is go just open the notification bar on your phone and then you will see this connected as media device. You have to just touch it and then you will see here USB debugging you have to turn it on and just touch OK and then after you turn it on this will pop up on your computer you have to open your file explorer and then go to this PC and then you have to open this CD drive and then you have to install this USB driver just open it and click next next and install and then you're gonna have to go to your settings app in your phone and then you have to go to the developer options and enable OEM unlock so after that is done you can just close everything and then after this is installed you have to just click finish and then we are good to go now first you have to extract the zip file I leave the link in the description it's a Dropbox link you can directly download it from there I have already extracted it so it's here so first you have to open the folder and then you have to copy these two files and then go to your phone's SD card and then paste it here also you are gonna have to also copy your recovery to the SD card which will TWRP recovery version you want to use and also create a copy in your computer too next after that is done you should go back to that folder and then you have to open the driver setup and then just run this as administrator now all you have to do is just type Y and press enter again type Y and press enter and again type Y and press enter now after that is done you have to go back and go to the minimal ADB and fastboot folder and if you want to install any other TWRP recovery version make sure to download the image file and copy it to the folder and then afterwards you have to run this ADB file as administrator and then do the same for the fastboot file and then after that is done you have to open this py.cm py underscore cmd as administrator and then first you're gonna have to type adb devices to make sure that our device is showing up now you will see this pop up on your phone's screen so you have to all allow it and then touch ok let me just decrease the brightness a little bit ok and if you as you can see it's unauthorized so just now I allowed the permission so if you type the command again you will see that it shows device so now you're gonna have to type in adb reboot bootloader and then press enter now your phone's gonna reboot into the bootloader mode so we just have to wait a couple of seconds and I will leave these commands in the description I'm gonna leave it right in the order on how to install it now you're gonna have to type fast boot devices and then as you can see my device is showing up at fast boot this is my device's id now all you have to type is fast boot flash recovery and then you have to copy the image file name of your own version of twrp recovery after you copy it you're gonna have to paste it here and then at the end just type dot img and press enter now after this you have to type fast boot reboot and then now before you press enter you have to keep your fingers ready on the volume up and down button so as soon as you press enter you're gonna have to hold those keys so let's do that I'm gonna hold the volume up and down button using in my right hand and I'm gonna press enter using my left hand so let's go and as soon as the phone turns off you have to hold 
the volume up and down button and as you can see so we have successfully installed the twrp recovery so now in order to root your phone you have to press install and then you have to go to your sd card just select storage and select sd card and then you're going to have to find the zip file which we copied as you can see it is named as update.supersu version 2.6 so you're gonna have to touch on that and then you just have to swipe to confirm the flash and now it's gonna root the phone after it is done you have to touch wipe cache dalvik and just tie swipe to wipe and then you're gonna have to go back to this section again and then you have to touch install image and after you do that you have to scroll down and find the boot.img file which we copied from the computer and then after you touch on that it's gonna ask to the select the partition to flash the image you have to flash it to the boot partition and then swipe to wipe swipe to flash actually after that is done you can just reboot the system and if you want twrp app you can slide this one if you don't want the twrp app you can just touch do not install and now the phone will reboot and it's going to take a long a lot of time so after the phone is rebooted you have a rooted device and also twrp recovery is installed so if you find this video helpful then please like share and my video and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video